as we have said in the last episodes, mm -hmm. that the first place you need to leave your impact, yes, it is not to the world uh -huh. out there, uh -huh. but you need to leave impact first of all to your partner uh -huh. and to your children, mm -hmm. because that's that's that, that's where legacy begins. Yes, and so now these good things about marriage, about relationship, you want to show them, exp express them, yes. even as your children grow, yes. they know that mommy respects dad, yes. daddy loves mom. Yes, these people are one. You're you, making an impact. An impact. Yes. You know. Your children admire. People who mm -hmm. live with you mm -hmm. admire marriage. Mm -hmm. That your marriage is not just about you and your husband. Mm -hmm. It has also affected the children positively. Mm -hmm. It has affected all the people who have come uh, in your circle mm -hmm. with your husband and with your wife. It yes. has also affected your workers. Yeah. It has gone to the place where you work in the church. People know that you are a couple Impact. that believes in marriage. Wow. And you find people want to become now like a shade where people can come for rescue, mm -hmm. for counsel, for you guidance, for direction. Mm -hmm. Because now you are living it. You are not pretending. Mm -hmm. You are actually living it. Mm -hmm. That thing, even when your daughter or your son is someone, they say, no, my role model for marriage is my mom mm -hmm. and dad. So People are, 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 are in number one, they are in denial mm -hmm. because now you are you are arguing with the reality mm -hmm. versus what you expected. Mm -hmm. The expectations have not been met. Mm -hmm. In fact, in dilemma, you feel so frustrated that all the expectations you had in marriage mm -hmm. or for marriage has now been shattered by your partner, mm -hmm. or you both have shattered them. Mm -hmm. So in this stage, we have said the, the people get into denial, some go into flight. You know, they keep, nobody, you don't want to stay near the other person. Uh -huh. One person may get into depression, mm. so this depression may, may go to suicide. Alternate, and in that stage, you're actually peace-faking. You are peace-faking, you want to still show people you are together. But it reaches a point whereby you feel no enough is enough. So what do you do? You go now, in still in dilemma, you go now to peace-breaking. Mm. In peace-breaking is where there is physical assault. The husband is beats the wife or the wife beats the husband. Yeah. You can even see marks. Mm -hmm. Someone can show you marks. They can show you how they were hit. Mm -hmm. They can show you what they were, they were thrown, something that broke. Biting. You get it. There's biting. Uh -huh. Thank you, Pastor. Uh -huh. All those things are mm -hmm. the assault, physical assault. Mm -hmm. You get that. You become now physical. Mm -hmm. When physical is done, you now think, no. Mahali to Mefika, we might kill one another. Let's go through litigation. Mm -hmm. So most people will go through the courts. Others even not quotes. Mm -hmm. That's when the mutu atahamisha utakuta everything has been swept, and and someone disappears either out of the country or disappears somewhere where it's not known. Mm -hmm. If that does not happen, they also continue moving on. They enter now into murder mm -hmm. because you feel now wow. the only way now I will just what we said in dilemma stage there is that spirit of revenge because this person has wasted your time, mm -hmm. has wasted your emotional, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. energy that you have put in him, money, maybe resources has destroyed your 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 girlhood mm -hmm. and your money. So you feel mm -hmm. you want revenge. You most of them either end up in committing suicide or there is murder. Mm -hmm. And that stage is done. In other words, that generation, that family, wow. wa even wow. So there is the steering Killing and destruction, the devil is in control and he claps hands after the dilemma stage. Yeah. You're so getting that. I, I, in fact, at that stage, mm. I would summarize it this way. Yeah. A couple began with being hot tempered. Mm. Hot tempered graduated to anger. Mm. Anger graduated to resentment. Mm. Resentment graduated to offenses. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Offenses graduate. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, after offenses, it now moves from them at that level up to the offense is all in the mind. In the mind, solical level. Yeah, the solical wow. level. Mm -hmm. But immediately mm -hmm. after the, you get offended, according to Luke eighteen verse verse one. Mm -hmm. No, Luke seventeen. Mm -hmm. Luke seventeen verse one. Mm -hmm. The Bible says Jesus said, mm -hmm. offenses, "Offenses will, will surely, surely come." come. So when offenses mm -hmm. stay in this husband and wife, mm -hmm. they now drop into the heart. When mm -hmm. they get into the heart, the first thing they enter us, mm -hmm. they enter as bitterness. Mm -hmm. When bitterness gets into your heart wow. during the dilemma, yes. it, it brings forth unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. Unforgiveness gives birth to uh, revenge. Mm -hmm. Revenge gives birth to death. To death. Wow. 
It's a uh, process. This is the process. Mm. Wow. You started with being hot tempered. Mm. Small things irritating you about hot your wife, your husband. Yes. Then it mm. graduated and became anger. 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 The mm. one which is in Ephesians 4 verse 26 and 27. Mm. Yes. So you gave the devil a, a loophole. Yes. Then from anger, mm -hmm. it graduates to resentment. Mm. And small, small little things mm. begins now to resentment. Then mm. resentment graduates to offenses mm -hmm. all these four stages mm -hmm. are in, in the, the mind, mind. Mm -hmm. the they mind are in level. the in your in your thoughts in your emotions ah. and in your will and you're arguing with them you know all throughout ah. and in this stage that's when you are thinking uh -huh. probably this man may change mm -hmm. probably this my wife may change mm -hmm. so when that when that when offenses now continues mm -hmm. offenses now move from the mind, mind from the solical level, mm, they into enter the into heart. your heart. When they are entering into your heart, mm -hmm. they are no longer offenses. Mm. They turn themselves, they come of large mm -hmm. and becomes bitterness. That's why the Bible says in the book of Hebrews 12 verse 25, mm. do not allow the root, the root of, of bitterness, bitterness to grow in mm. your heart. Mm. Because of this, many have been defiled. Wow. It defiles you. It defiles you. It defiles bitterness. Ah. bitterness. Where is it defiling? Mm. It has already you know, sorted out your mind, mm. so now it has entered into your heart. Mm. So when it enters into your heart, mm -hmm. the, the root of bitterness mm. brings forth unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. Have you heard people saying, I will never forgive never. what this man mm. did, what this, this, this woman did to mm. me. Then unforgiveness mm. brings forth, mm -hmm. bats forth yes. revenge. And revenge brings forth the death. That's why the word of God says in the book of Mark mm -hmm. 7, mm -hmm. verse 21, mm -hmm. out of your heart mm -hmm. comes out murder. Mm -hmm. Out you get the of point? your heart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, comes out murder, mm -hmm. evil, mm -hmm. adultery, yes. all the actions that men do, mm -hmm. it comes from the heart. So that is wow. the sequence of dilemma. Uh -huh. It's a very serious stage. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is just amazing that everything that happens in this mm -hmm. stage starts from the mind. It starts mm -hmm. from the mind. Yeah, and mm -hmm. there is something, mom, you said mm -hmm. sometimes back. Yes. yes. You said that uh, in every situation of a couple, mm -hmm. the two should assess two things. Mm -hmm. The husband should make sure that when, whenever they are communicating, it is either through love mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. and the wife through respect. Mm -hmm. wow. Does this that you are doing in, 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 portrays love mm -hmm. and this one mm -hmm. portrays respect? Mm -hmm. Because at sometimes I feel like people don't have to go through all these stages. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. They are not necessary because it's not the will of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The will of God is for people to live, coexist Happy. peacefully mm -hmm. and to allow his word to thrive in us. Mm -hmm. So I think if we can the things of God are so simple sometimes. You see, you see the way we have said yeah. from hot temperedness to death, mm. who is controlling all those stages? The devil. The devil. Yeah. So after that, mm. what happens if at dilemma stage, yes. when you're just about to go to death, mm -hmm. God may, may just send, or you may think of, can I open up wow. to this thing, mm. to someone who is credible? Wow. And that's why you need to have mm. people you can call, and someone who is not, who is not even a relative. Mm -hmm. Someone you can just call and tell them, mm. I seriously want to see you. Mm. Something is not right with mm. our marriage. And then when you sit down from there, mm. you enter into a, a, the, the, the fourth stage mm. now, which is called discovery. Discovery. You begin to discover who you are in mm. Christ. Mm. You begin to, to know, ah, mm. the Lord can fight for me the battles. Mm. You begin to, oh, I can't change my husband and my wife. Mm. You begin now to accept their strength mm. and you don't measure with their weakness. Mm. You get the point. Exactly. You have discovered, you mm. have discovered now mm. who you are in Christ. In Christ. Uh -huh. You have discovered yourself mm. through counseling that there is nothing you can do concerning this situation. Mm -hmm. You can temporarily go to this you know like separation for a moment yeah. meanwhile meanwhile as you hear as you also pray for your partner yeah. to be able to see whether an intervention of people talking to him mm. or her to see whether there can be reconciliation mm. that's why the bible says in the book of first first corinthians mm. 7 mm. verse 8 verse 9 and 10 mm. it says if a husband mm -hmm. and a wife you know want to separate for in any other reason. Mm -hmm. Let them look for someone who can come and reconcile mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So this is discovery. Discovery is when you have known now, I have to allow my husband, mm -hmm. let the Lord now deal with mm -hmm. him. I, I, I am complete in Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, you allow them to be, uh, and you are not bitter. You have now understood yourself. Probably when you are seeing you are the one who failed. Yeah. That's why the devil got a discovery is the most powerful you know level mm -hmm. when when you discover yourself how mm -hmm. do you discover yourself number one you need someone to reintroduce yourself 
Wow. Either you read a book, mm -hmm. either you listen to someone, mm -hmm. that's when you invest in knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's when you invest in mentorship. Mm -hmm. That's when you invest in the word of God. Mm -hmm. You want to hear more of God's word. You want mm -hmm. to hear messages about how a good marriage can, mm -hmm. can stand and become. Mm -hmm. You're getting that. Eh? Mm -hmm. So discovery, you want to discover what is that mm -hmm. thing that I did wrong mm -hmm. that I need to rectify. Yeah. So this is, you're discovering yourself and it's such an amazing ocean mm -hmm. because you're like, I, discovery. why did I have to stay at a dream? Drama, mm -hmm. dilemma. I almost even died. I think what you're saying is very true because mm -hmm. it's that time that we began listening to the Kiona. I tell you, we followed the. <laughs> and don't even we used to watch uh, uh, Reverend Kiona's podcast almost like, every like day. Like religion. Wow. And you then religious. Yeah. yeah. And then, and, yes. and then Miles that Monroe. Monroe. God has changed mm. many yes. lives. Yes. We will listen to her. Then there was this show she was having on NTV. Women, Women are limits. limits. Yes. She will bring dad. couples. Yes. She will talk mm. about herself and her marriage and her husband. And how they were very in a very serious stages, but they were they came out. Mm -hmm. How they will abuse each other, but we will say if they are there, then you can also be there. Yes. Also, Miles Munro's podcast, we will watch so much. Yeah. And then there's a book we read, I think, that changed us mostly. It was called Men Are from the Mass and, and women, women are from, from Venus, Venus, something like that. And there was another one you are forgetting mm. that really helped us. It was called Say No to. Say no divorce, I'm saying say no to divorce, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Uh -huh. So this book they told us if they write down mm -hmm. ten things you like about your spouse. Every day. Yes. yes. And and you know, you know in that stage we only think the negative things. <laughs> You don't do this, you don't do this, you like this. But so we begin writing good things about her. So I'm forced to write something about her today. Good thing that she, she, she's, she's kind. Yes. She's loving. But with the time when you keep on saying those good things, yes. you, you, we, we began discovering that there is something better with this person than the bad things. Yes. And then you, became, you begin to write. But it is also write. amazing. You mm. have to add that even in that stage, we could sit and read a book together. Mm. Yeah. By the way, wow. we could read a book together, a paragraph and a paragraph. And and then when you begin writing bad things about the person, mm. you find that there are very few. There are like three mm. things or four. It annoys me. But good things, there are very many. Mm -hmm. So we say, why are we focusing on these few and yes. forgetting the many things? That's yes. why marriages don't end because of the many bad things someone has. No. But very small that we don't tackle. We amplify, mm. we amplify them. Yeah. And I think you said that, that wow. discovery stage, when yes. you begin reading, it's watching, was, it's very powerful. Mm. Yes, yeah. and especially more so mm. when you discover it through the word of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, through the word of God, you are taught the word of God and you're able to see yourself in the word. Mm. Yes. You're able to pray and get a breakthrough, you yes. know? Mm. You have no bitterness. You have dealt now with bitterness, mm. with revenge. Yeah. Your heart can forgive no matter what has been said, Amen. what has been done. Mm. Discovery is a very, it's the most glorious time. And that's where you wow. find passions are birthed. Oh, you yeah. find now the passion for marriage now is bad mm. because you have you have jumped now yes, you have now discovered no i need to tell other people this mm. thing works yes. <laughs> it's like now the the, the the samaritan woman mm. who met yeah. jesus yeah. and she went saying come and see a man mm. who has told me all the things i've ever done yeah. <laughs> you know in mama. the morning she was a, in the morning she was a harlot mama so you've said that mm. during this stage is where now mm. passions are bad yes ministries are bad yes mm. i think that's where we began our page it was called my marriage must to work. Passion, <laughs> passion. Passion. Because remember now, Amen. we think we fought so many battles, now we should now begin taking this thing out. Yes. Yeah, so we kept posting on that page until someone from Nigeria Ali reports this an offensive page you can mm. quite mm. But I think something was bad during that period. There's something that you say, and I think uh, this would be a very good uh, thing. Yes, Pastor. That when you flip the coin, mm. sometimes your greatest weakness or a challenge might be yes. your secret of strength. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. The area of your struggle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. There is, there is a couple. That area you are yes. struggling. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you expose yourself to the right mentorship, mm -hmm. knowledge, mm -hmm. and you put God first, uh -huh. that is your area, area of strength. Of your strength. Okay. Daddy, allow that's me true. to ask something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you said that the area of your struggle, Some, the most the challenging mm. area, yes. could be the, the area maybe of your yes. purpose. Mm. Yes. And strength. And strength. Yes. That is the area where you can get mm -hmm. validation from. And it reminds me, mm. in the universe, there are laws. Mm. We, there are called 12 laws of the universe. Mm. And there is a law called the law of polarity, mm. whereby in every situation, in every circumstance, however bad it is, mm. there is always the, the positive 
side if you flip the uh, the coin to look at it mm, with the, yes. with a, with, a, with a, an eye of wait a minute mm, what yes. if mm, yes. what if this one is a signal to remind us that this one this one should be done yes. Yes. like you see in our in our situation those early years you are like what if God is trying to build us for mm. a certain things or it is a signal for us mm. to build our strength so much so that mm. when we get into yes. those years of yes. glory we are established. That's what we've yeah, always that, said, right? Yeah. 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 So That's I think true. it gave us strength to, mm. to pray more on our, not just to feel like we are confident, we are comfortable, yes. we can mm. do it. We began to give it a lot of strength and attention. Yeah. Mm. Look at now what you are doing now today mm. and what we are doing here today. Yes. yes. We are not doing because we came from very good background. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. we have got a story like you have, <laughs> yes. you know. Yes. And uh, one would not have even thought mm -hmm. one day to sit down mm -hmm. to talk about marriage. Yes, yeah. having learned from where, mm -hmm. having known from where. Hey, wow, we didn't have mentors. Yeah. we didn't learn from our relatives. Mm. Yes. We, I mean, we lost nothing at all. Yeah. Even from our yeah. parents, we mm. had a very, I mean, serious challenges mm. but then we flipped the coin mm. Mm -hmm. look at now what we are doing today wow. it could even be finances mm. that maybe you are going through very tough mm. uh, fine you know fi uh, financial very, crisis financial. exactly mm. Mm. that does not mean that you are about to be poor or mm. to borrow all your days <laughs> mm. you know yes. it is it could be a pointer mm. that one day mm you will be very rich. And you understand yeah. those people who are in your situation. Exactly. You will have to encourage other couples that there is hope. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They say every dark cloud has a silver lining. All right. Mm. Exactly. So just because it's not working today, yes. it does not mean that you're not meant for one another. Yeah. And that is the mistake many people they make. Mm. When they quarrel, when they fight, when they have a misunderstanding, they think, ah, ah this was not my mm. thing. Mm. Mm. If you turn it the other side, Mm. There is something good about your wife. Exactly. Wow. There is something good about your husband. Mm. Oh yes. There is something good about Very you good. that you can do and mm. you can become. Wow. Before I give it to mom, yes. there is something that dad once said up on your mom mm. in one of the episodes. That's why you need to keep following and keeping up with our episodes. Mm. Most of them we carry the wisdom from the behind. Mm. You see, daddy said that marriage should be more than about love. If you the only reason as to why you guys are married is mm. love, mm. you are standing on a very shaky ground. Yeah. Marriage should be based on purpose on commit, on commitment. and commitment. Mm. There should be something bigger tying you than love. Mm. Just that the feeling of love. I love mm. you. I want to live with you. No, mm. it is a there is a bigger reason. There should be a bigger purpose. Yeah. And that's when even when this stages come, you will make a decision based on that. Mm. Now we have kids, we have a purpose. Will we just throw the, the, the you say, the water with the, mm. with the baby? Yeah. Yes. Or we take the baby out mm. and then throw away water. the water. Yeah. You pour the, the water, something like that. Mm. Yes. So you see that's, that's what the, the point. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow. and we have come all the way yes. from dream uh -huh. to drama. Uh -huh. From drama to dilemma. To dilemma. Mm. From discovery. dilemma yeah. to discovery. Yeah. And from discovery, where are we? To depth. To depth or to descendants. All right. Yeah. Your descendants, yeah. your deeds, uh -huh. all these. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, when you discover yourself, mm -hmm. now you begin to impact your descendants. Mm -hmm. And your descendants are your depth, mm -hmm. your children. Mm -hmm. So you find that now you, you want to tell them that marriage works. Mm -hmm. In fact, you, because of leaving it, it mm -hmm. affects now your children. Yes. And it is at the descendant level that mm -hmm. now you become generation of father mm -hmm. and a generational mother wow. as we have said in the last episodes mm -hmm. that the first place you need to leave your impact yes it is not to the world uh -huh. out there uh -huh. but you need to leave impact first of all to your partner uh -huh. and to your children because that's that's that, that's where legacy begins yes and so now these good things about marriage about relationship you want to show them exp express them yes. even as your children grow yes. they know that mommy respects dad yes daddy loves mom yes Yes. These people are one. You're, You're making an impact. An impact. Yes. You know. Your children admire. People who mm. live with you mm. admire marriage. Mm -hmm. That your marriage is not just about you and your husband. Mm -hmm. It has also affected the children positively. Mm. It has affected all the people who have come uh, in your circle mm. with your husband and with your wife. Yes. It has also affected your workers. Yeah. It has gone to the place where you work in the church. People know that you are a couple impact. that believes in marriage. Wow. And you find people want to become now like a shade. 
where people can come for rescue, mm -hmm. for counsel, for you guidance, for direction. Mm -hmm. Because now you are living it. You are not pretending. Mm -hmm. You are actually living it. Mm -hmm. That thing, even when your daughter or your son is someone, they say, no, my role model for marriage is my mom mm -hmm. and dad. Wow. So that's when now you have become generation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And from there now you start impacting your generation. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. After David had served his generation, mm -hmm. he rested with the fathers. Mm -hmm. Now you can rest and you know that you have wow. laid a foundation that no one will ever believe yes. that marriage is a scam. Why? Yes. You have now impacted them with the yes. knowledge of God, yes. with, with your lifestyle. Yes. And you see, the, the greatest impartation is your, the lifestyle you of are, a person. Your, last lifestyle. Mm. your lifestyle has mm. great impact than even just words. Mm. So those are stages. Depth. So mm. those are stages that one can avoid. Yes. You can move from dream yes. to discovery mm -hmm. and to descendants. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. you don't have to pass through drama, drama. drama and dilemma. dilemma. It's so painful. Yeah. It's so painful. Yeah. And this is not the will of God. Mm. So you have a dream of a good marriage. Mm. Then you get into discovery. Mm. And then you go to descendants or your debts mm. or your generation mm. yeah. so it is doable mm. but this can only come when number one you are under mentorship mm -hmm. you you have to have a place for knowledge mm -hmm. and you have to make god the center of your marriage mm -hmm. and have a very wow. teachable spirit mm -hmm. even when you think you are the best teacher mm -hmm. allow other people to come into your life mm -hmm. to improve you mm -hmm. because we keep learning every day mm -hmm. something new mm -hmm. or even emphasizing on what we have always been doing mm -hmm. so when we do that Mm. our marriages will be generational and I think God will be happy to wow. know that uh, the way he says in his word in the book of Malachi mm. 2 verse 16 mm. that the reason why he brings a, a man and a woman mm. God was looking for a godly generation wow. so make your marriage to become wow. a godly generation mm. because you have affected your descendants mm. who are your children wow. and your great and I think one of the greatest challenge mm. uh, as we wind up this mm. Many people who are uh, educated, yes, uh, they, they get a surprise when they're not doing well into their marriage. Mm -hmm. You know, you're doing very well in the corporate, mm -hmm. um, you are doing, you are a university graduate, mm -hmm. but, but then uh, this small thing here called marriage mm -hmm. is giving you a serious headache. headache. Mm -hmm. You know, two children and one wife. <laughs> <laughs> you can't manage, manage them. them. Mm -hmm. Yet you can manage an institution. That you are managing a whole organization. A vice you are a mm -hmm. CEO. Mm -hmm. You know, you are the director. Mm -hmm. You are the chairman. Mm -hmm. Yet, something, you have two children and one uh, woman mm -hmm. is giving you a serious headache. And, and, and that's why people need to understand though you could be very successful outside there in the corporate world, mm -hmm. it does not equate that success to a family or marriage. Mm. You must give yourself, as my wife has said, mm. to seminars, you know, training, mm. teaching. Yeah. Go to those meetings, sit down, mm. read books about the family. Wow. So that you don't look like, why am I so successful and my family is not successful? Mm. It is important you realize those are two different institutions. Yes. They are built in a different way oh yes and you need to give yourself for the growth mm. of each and every uh, organization so wow. a good builder mm -hmm. builds first his mm -hmm. or her family exactly mm -hmm. oh yes the reason as to why we are human beings and not human being is because <laughs> we are created and naturally we need to grow from one level to another. Yes. Whatever the, the, the stage you are in in your marriage, mm -hmm. don't get too comfortable. You have to keep getting information as our parents have said, mm -hmm. go to seminars, get podcasts, some are saying, oh, I, I don't have fair, I don't have money. You, have, you can access YouTube, mm -hmm. look for things that add to you than those that take away from you. So keep growing. Even when you are in the discovery stage, we mm. still look for mentors, we look for information to remain relevant. Yeah. Relevant to our spaces and relevant to other people. And uh, maybe I want to say, mm. if you are there mm. and you are looking for people who can assist you, mm. this is why this panelist is here. Yeah. Mm. This is a number that is going down here. Mm. Yes. You can call that number for help. Yeah. You want counseling? Come, mm. we'll talk about it mm. and be ready to pay for it. Yeah. It's not for free. Mm. Mm. That's what I can assure you. Mm. You know, because there are many things that we do. Mm. So don't stay there and die. Yeah. You can reach out to us, come for counseling, come for teachings, mm. and your marriage will be different. 
at this season, give your best to your family. Wow. Give your best. Even your children. Mm. Maybe they are going through something and you are wondering who can talk to them. Call this number. Yeah. Pay for them that session. Mm. Let's sit down. We talk to them. We are available. Why should you lose a whole family when there are people like this who can help you? Do it now. You are not too late. God bless you. Wow. wow. I'll just say finally that um, this, this has been a learning session for me first mm -hmm. before it goes to our viewers. And we have learned so much from this beautiful couple here. Mm -hmm. And every day has been a learning session. And, I, and, and, and I, I, I've taken a few points here that number one, we should be ready to be taught, to mm -hmm. be teachable. We should be able to be corrected. Mm -hmm. And correction comes from both sides. Mm -hmm. You said in the other episode that you also take correction from your children yes. who are younger. Yes. And I remember a man of God one day, he was saying that, he was, I think, in that stage of either dilemma or drama. Mm -hmm. And they were always quarreling and fighting and fighting. Mm -hmm. So one day they were driving to church. He was a pastor with his wife, quarreling in the kind of hurling insults. Mm -hmm. But when they reached in church, they'd be like, mm -hmm. praise God. Mm -hmm. I love my wife so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one day they were not going to church and they were fighting so mm -hmm. much and quarreling. Mm -hmm. Then the son was in the back seat. The son was around eight years. He said, Dad, stop the car. Pack the car. Tell mom you are sorry. Wow. He was like, what do I say? He just said, tell mom you are sorry. And say that this boy for the first time, he was so stunned. And said, tell mom you are sorry. <laughs> said, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hug mom. He said, he hugged the mother. He's saying that's when their marriage was healed. Wow. From that point. Oh, yeah. So God used this small boy who was their son to heal their marriage. And so from that day, I, I learned to say yeah. sorry. I learned to ask for forgiveness mm -hmm. and I learned to handle my marriage in a better way. Mm -hmm. So that learning speed is very important. And then I said that we wish all your marriages to reach this stage whereby you become descendants. Like now we are their descendants. Yeah. I can probably say that mm -hmm. we are descendants. We can always say that, yes. wow, we look up to you. Mm -hmm. We are always wishing to be like you. Amen. So and our praise that all marriages will reach the stage mm -hmm. whereby now you have oh, descendants yes. mm -hmm. and you are happy you can have something to talk about. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching this episode. Mm -hmm. You've learned so much from stage one to stage five. Mm -hmm. and until next time, this is Naked and Not Ashamed. Sure.